Smart color bulbs. If you just started looking into purchasing smart color bulbs, then you probably like how I was when I first started. Looking at color bulbs online or on Amazon can be very daunting. There are a ton of bulbs out there, all promising you the perfect light bulb that will bathe your room in all the colors. So to help you guys out in today's video, we're not only going to be comparing the top rated bulbs on Amazon, but I'm also going to go into showing you how and what to look for whenever choosing a bulb for yourself. So to get started, in today's video, we will be covering color bulbs from Wise, Singlid, Casa, Philips Hue, and Petame. And we'll be comparing these bulbs based on their smart home compatibility, their brightness, their color range temperature, their cost, their app, and other special features. So to jump right into it, the Wise color bulb is one of the most cost effective bulbs on this list. It comes in at just $16 per bulb at the time of this video. And despite this bulb being one of the cheapest ones on this list, it also has the highest lumens of any other bulb on this list. And it comes in at just 1100 lumens. This bulb is really bright, but it also has a great color temperature range that comes in at 1800 to 6500 Kelvin. This bulb can be bright enough to allow you to see the difference between black and navy blue in your closet, while also being capable of being dimmed for a low light intimate atmosphere in your office or living room. This bulb is also compatible with your Amazon smart speaker, Google Assistant, and FT. Now this bulb is really easy to set up, and we did just release a video on the Wise Color Bulb review and setup process, so you can check that out if you want to. There will be a link in the description. Now the app itself is pretty useful, it's pretty intuitive. It can seem a bit cluttered if you have a bunch of Wise apps just running through the list, but overall it definitely gets the job done. The app allows you to easily control the colors with its color wheel, as well as adjust the color temperature with its color temperature wheel. Some features of this bulb is it has group control, which will allow you to control multiple bulbs with one push of a button. It has vacation mode when you're away, which will allow your lights to turn on and off when you're not there to simulate that someone's in the house, which is pretty cool. And it does have built-in trigger and automations, which is pretty nice, and I use those pretty regularly. And again, in our last WISE video, we go over some of these automations more in depth. And this bulb does connect over Wi-Fi, so it does not require a hub to work, and WISE does have a really big growing list of smart devices that can be used to amplify your bulb's functionality. One example is I have a WISE camera that has a motion trigger that turns the light bulb on whenever it detects motion. Now our next bulb is the Philips Hue Color Bulb. And this is one of the most expensive bulbs on this list that we'll be covering today. And it comes in at just $58. This does not include the hub that would also be required to run it. Now while this is one of the most expensive bulbs on this list that we'll be covering today, it's also one of the most feature rich and most streamlined in my opinion. This bulb comes in at 800 lumens, which is pretty bright and pretty standard for most bulbs at this range. And it has a color temperature range of 2000 to 6500 Kelvin, which is perfect for lighting your workspace or just adding a little bit of ambiance to the corner of your office. This bulb is pretty much compatible with everything out there. Amazon Smart Speaker, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, IFT, SmartThings. Siri, Microsoft Cortana. So this bulb might be perfect for you if you're just getting started and you're not really sure of what ecosystem to settle on. You're not sure if you're gonna be going with the Amazon Smart Speaker or Google Assistant. With this bulb, either way, it doesn't matter what you settle on. It will be compatible with pretty much everything. This bulb works great and is easy to set up right out of the box. The app itself is very clean and very streamlined. It's Super awesome to use, super easy to use. It has a great color wheel and color temperature wheel, which is great and allows you to adjust the brightness pretty easily. Now, a nice subtle feature this bulb has is that when you switch colors or you switch color temperatures, it doesn't just instantly change. It does a nice fade in and out of the colors. For me, this isn't a huge deal, but it definitely adds to the fine polish of this bulb. And I think for some people, it definitely may be something they're interested in. This bulb does have group control, vacation mode, and some automations that can definitely be amplified by adding other Hue devices into your ecosystem. Now this bulb does use Zigbee to communicate instead of Wi-Fi, so you will need a hub with it. The Hue hub will cost you another additional $60, which is pretty expensive. But if you already have a SmartThings hub, you can use that instead. And as I kind of hinted to already, Philips Hue has been around for a while. They have a lot of devices out there that can help amplify your smart home setup. All right, so the next light bulb we're gonna be talking about is a Casa Color light bulb, which will run you about $17 currently on Amazon. Now, just a quick note, if you look at this bulb on Amazon, there are gonna be two different versions out there. There's gonna be the KL130 and the KL125. Now the KL130 comes in at 850 lumens and the KL125 is 800 lumens. Just be aware of that if you choose to buy one bulb and later you go back to choose another bulb. You don't wanna be buying two different lumen levels with two different brightnesses. Um, so just keep that in mind. 
And from what I can tell, these bulbs are pretty much the same stat-wise. There is a difference of 50 lumens, and the 125 comes in at just $10, which is quite a bit cheaper. The KL 130 bulb comes in at 2500 to 6500 Kelvin, which is pretty standard for these bulbs and pretty good range. This bulb is compatible with Amazon Smart Speaker, Google Assistant, Microsoft Cortana, and SmartThings. The app itself is pretty boring. There's not a lot to it, um, but it definitely gets the job done. Now, one pretty interesting feature that we haven't seen yet on this list is the ability to track how long this bulb has been on and how much energy it has used. And this will help you make yearly energy predictions. This bulb also has vacation mode and will allow you to set up automations for time and scheduling. And unlike our previous bulb, this bulb does connect over Wi-Fi and does not require a hub to operate. Now the next bulb on our list is a Sengalid Color Bulb. And this bulb will run you currently $20 on Amazon. And it does use Zigbee to communicate, so this will require a hub. You could either buy the Sengalid Hub or you can also use the Samsung SmartThings Hub as well. This bulb tops out at 800 lumens and also has a color range of 2000 to 6500 Kelvin. Now the Sengalid does sell a Wi-Fi hubless version of their bulb that costs about $1800 on Amazon but I've definitely seen a lot of reviews complaining about disk connection issues. And with that being said, I'm currently only comparing the $20 Zigbee version of their bulb in this list. And this bulb is compatible with Amazon Smart Speaker, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, and IFT. Like all the other bulbs so far on this list, setting up was super easy, just required a quick scan of a QR code. Now the app itself is super clean and I like it a lot. Um, it's super easy to use. It also has an energy tracking feature similar to that of Casa Smart Color Bulb. And this will allow you to track the daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly energy usage of your bulbs, as well as estimated energy savings and CO2 emissions savings. And this bulb does allow you to set up some automations like schedules and sleep routines. Now the last bulb on our list is the Pedeme Smart Bulb. And this bulb comes in at a super low price of $7 currently on Amazon. With that low price point, you're also gonna be getting a little bit less. This bulb tops out at 600 lumens, which is pretty low compared to most bulbs in this category. The color temperature range is 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. I will say that when I first used this bulb and turned it on, there was definitely a noticeable difference in the brightness as well as the color temperatures. Now the color temperature when I first started using it definitely had a noticeable weirdness about it. It seemed a little bit metallic or a little off, like it didn't have its own white channel. This bulb connects over Wi-Fi and does not require a hub. Now I've used these bulbs for quite a while now and I've not had a ton of issues, but they definitely have disconnection issues if you change the colors or colored brightness too quickly and too often, which can definitely be a deal breaker for a lot of people. The brightness also is kind of a downside as it is only 600 lumens and it's definitely noticeable whenever you turn on the bulb. This bulb also uses the Smart Life app, which is pretty basic. Um, it gets the job done, but it definitely is not as clean looking and uh, it's just overall okay. This bulb is compatible with Amazon Smart Speaker, Google Assistant, and Siri. All right, so before we get to what you need to know about purchasing your own Smart Color Bulb, let's compare these bulbs side by side. So to add a little bit more technical depth to this video, I checked all of the bulbs in my list, white brightness, as well as color brightness with a lux meter. You may notice that the Wise is a good bit brighter, both in the white range as well as in the color range compared to the Philips Hue. And this definitely took me by surprise because Philips Hue is definitely a lot more pricey. If you're looking for a color bulb to throw as much color into a room as possible, the Wise bulb in this list is definitely the one to go with. All right, so now if you're looking to purchase a smart color bulb for yourself and you're a little bit confused by all the different stats that everything is thrown out there on the internet, here's what I look for whenever I'm choosing a smart color bulb. So the first thing and possibly the biggest thing that you need to take into consideration before purchasing a smart color bulb, whether you're purchasing this bulb as a one-off or looking to start a smart home or build upon an existing smart home. And if the answer is that you're looking to build upon an existing smart home or start a smart home, then compatibility is definitely one of the most important factors to consider. Smart devices tend to gravitate towards specific ecosystems like Amazon Smart Speaker or Apple HomeKit. And color bulbs on Amazon are pretty quick to call out whether or not they're compatible with Amazon and Google Smart Speakers, but you may have to do some digging whether or not they're gonna be compatible with Apple HomeKit or SmartThings. The next biggest and most obvious thing to look for is the lumen level of the bulb. Now this could be somewhat deceiving because if a bulb is rated for 800 lumens, that is just the brightest that it will be. And this is definitely the white setting and it does not really describe how bright the colors are. If you have no intention of using the white range and you're really just looking for the bulb to be used as some kind of colorful ambiance in a room, then lumens is not super useful for you. But what might be more useful to you is what the bulbs are rated for in watts. So most of these bulbs on this list are rated for 60 watts, but the Wise Color Bulb is rated for 75 watts. 
And you can definitely tell the difference in brightness both in the white range as well as in the color range. So the next important stat will be your color temperature range. And this really just describes the appearance of the light. And at the lower range, say 2700K, this will be best for the living rooms and dining rooms, maybe bedrooms. And then at the higher range, say 500K, this is more for the whiter, cooler lights. And this is best for like garages and basements. Another good stat that you should be looking for that we haven't really touched on yet is the CRI or color rating index. Now CRI will let you know how accurate colors are while underneath the light. A higher CRI, for example, will help you tell the difference between navy blue and black in your closet. Typically when looking for a bulb, you want a CRI rating that's as close to 100 as possible. A CRI of 90 is about as low as I would want to go. And with that being said, CRI is not listed on a lot of bulbs on Amazon, so you may have to do some digging or just skip those bulbs altogether. And the last and possibly the biggest thing, especially for me, is the price. The price can make or break my build. If you're just looking to add a bulb for a lamp or two, it's not really a big deal. But if you're looking to replace most or all of the bulbs in your house or looking to upgrade in the future, price is definitely one of the bigger deals. And that's the video, guys. It definitely took me a lot of time and research to get this and put it together for you guys. So it would greatly be appreciated if you would subscribe or like or even comment adding your thoughts on these bulbs or even if you have other bulbs that you think might be better than the ones in this list. These are just the ones that I came across that I thought were important and were also highly rated on Amazon. So as always, thank you. Appreciate it.